Don't you just hate when your favorite unit is not with your favorite general? I've always wanted to add my favorite unit to my favorite general, and I have. And I'll show you how. My name is Yanis Yanguar, and in this tutorial I will show you how to add units from one general to another, and I will show you how to add a new unit from public assets. If you've seen my other tutorials, you should be familiar with this folder already. It's very simple. This is in your zero hour directory. Just open up INI. In this case, I want to add a unit from the tank general to my favorite general, the boss general. Just simply go to open them up. Alrighty. Do you have your favorite unit in mind? I have mine. I'm just kidding. In this uh, tutorial, I am going to add the tank general's troop crawler to my favorite general, the boss general. In fact, I've already done this, so it will look a little different. First and foremost, open up the directory. You want to go in the data. In my previous tutorial, I showed you how to extract the INI loose files, the text files that are used mainly for modifying the game. Um, I always like to make a archive backup before I do any modifications. It's a simple way to, if I mess up, to replace anything. Make a frequent backup. Always make backups of the INI folder. Always. So. Do you have your favorite unit in mind? Open up the INI folder first. We are going to open up the command button INI and the command set text files. And then we're going to go to object and open up boss and tank general as the example in this tutorial. And scroll down into what you're looking for. In this case, I found it right here. I want you to copy this, control C, open up the find with control F and paste that there. If you want to have a easier time to just look through all the units in particular general, just type in open up control F and type in object and it'll object and a space to be exact and it will just go down the line to just show you every single object that's with that general. Um, so you want to start with one click above the colon, the semicolon, and scroll all the way down, all the way down. You see where it says end? Keep on going until you're about right there. And hit go to your favorite general, go all the way down to the bottom, and paste. And let's just say I paste. You're not done yet. Alrighty. After you paste it, you are need to uh, highlight this particular line right here after object. And previously we opened up the command button. And we need to control F and find that particular object. And then hit find and should find the object in no time and in this case I did tank not not a boss you will find the command button to construct that unit that's what this command is um, copy it just like that go to your particular general paste it and then you want to edit this right here to whatever you want in this case I'm changing it to m boss and then you want to go to the object and do the same thing it's easier if you just match them up and then go back to the original general that you added it to and added that to the same thing so this is the object that is going to be commanded through the button on the war factory to construct this unit. After you've done all of that, highlight and copy this particular command right here. 
we're going to go to the command set, find your favorite general's war factory, and paste it to the numbers through one of these slots. Um, in my particular modded game, it goes up to 18, but I believe originally it goes up to 14. Um, so feel free if it only stops at 12, add a 13 and paste it there. Add a 14 or paste it there. Now you will, may have to deal with a secondary upgraded command set. Just add the unit to that too. Let's say hypothetically you found a publicly released asset that you wanted to add to your Command and Conquer. In this case, I want to add the Expert Crusader um, unit that was released um, to the public. Um, you can just type in Expert Crusader underscore 1.1 into Google and you'll find it that fast. Um, once you extract it, you'll get these particular files. And let's start with thanking this modeler and modding guy and the guy who helped balance it and all that good stuff. This is just going to be a demonstration of the previous tutorial. I am just going to be adding it live. We are going to add the 3D text files first. I mean, they're not text files, they're 3D files. It's very simple. Just copy and paste. Alright, we're just going to want to open up the weapons folder, or the weapons uh, INI file to be exact. You don't need to worry about these two. We will customize them as we go along, as I showed you in the previous part of this tutorial. Hopefully you still have the art file or art folder still open and the files you added to it will be most important. Um, copy the name of the file, control F for find, paste it in there and search for the new unit. Copy it like I showed you before, paste it name it and now we need to add it as in a unit that is buildable we want to go to the build and since this is based on the American Crusader that the boss unit already has we are going to copy that And since this is a bigger one, let's keep the same one and put X. And boss general. Copy the object name. And there it is. Now you will notice that it is unbuildable, and that's not because it requires the strategy center, but because I don't have the right buildings for that, technically. And I'll show you that right now. So you saw that it wasn't buildable on my side. That's because I didn't actually adjust the building criteria correctly. That would be this particular line of code right here. Um, the easiest way to do that, you can adjust it later, is to just put two semicolons there. Again, if you're using Notepad++, they will turn a different color. Um, this will show you that they're special. In this case, they're deactivated. As you can see, it is buildable now. Let's see what it looks like. This will be the first time I get to see what it looks like. USA Armor Division. It has a little machine gun. On, on your top. command. As you can see, I can't force fire it. That's because I didn't set up the weapon text file. 
Let's do that now. Let's return back to the boss general. And as you can see, it has three weapons. Well, earlier I said to open up that weapon, open up that weapons folder. So you want to return back to the general text file, and you will see in this case there's three weapons that it starts with. All right, earlier I told you to open up the weapon text file. As you can see for this particular reason. And let's just assume that they're at the very end. Convenient. All right, so you just want to copy those over. And it's that simple. And as you can see, we now have weapons. Proceeding to target zone. 